Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another player review with me, your boy FIFA Wonder HD. This episode, guys, we will be looking at Inform Insigne. He is absolutely fantastic, guys, and I can't wait to tell you all about him. Such a good card for such a cheap, cheap price. Well worth going out and buying him and picking him up because he was an absolute pleasure to use, as you can see by some of the goals that he scored me. Now, he was fantastic, scored me a lot of goals, got me quite a few assists as well, played him at sort of the left wing position as I wanted to take advantage of that pace and that dribbling and his decent array of sort of shooting and passing. So I do advise playing him higher up the pitch. He's got so many pros, it is unreal. His dribbling, his finishing was pretty good, although as you can see on the key stats, it's not actually rated in game that good, 69 finishing, but I think his finesse shot trait um, means that his shooting is pretty good, to be honest. If you do get in the box and you've got the chance to shoot with him, use the, you know, hold uh, down the, the bumper button to, to finesse shot it, because if you do that, it'll most likely go in. He's got pretty good shot power in all fairness to him, so if you do blast it, you stand a decent chance. And uh, also shots from just outside the edge of the box, as you'll see a, a couple of the goals that I, I managed to score with him. They absolutely fly in with this guy. So he's got a decent sort of long shot on him as well, which I think is really good. Three-star weak foot, three-star skills are just sort of all right. He's got the finesse shot trait, as I mentioned earlier, and the speed dribbler and flair trait. So some decent traits on the card that just help him out a little bit. As I mentioned, his dribbling was absolutely incredible. Really, really liked that on this card. The ball just stuck to his foot. It really did, you know, as you can see in some of the clips, you know, defenders just could not get it off him, even when they were really tight on him. A lot of the time, he just left them for dead with his pace and his dribbling. His ball control at 87 is insane, and 84 dribbling just make him really, really good. It, it's almost like playing with Messi or a Ronaldo. He plays that well, and playing him at the left wing position where he's got a bit of space, you know, you can use his pace, you can use his dribbling to cut inside, just make a really effective player that, you know, is going to score goals, create goals, he's got great crossing, you know, his passing's really good, so he can slip a through ball in, you know, I've got a couple of assists with him, which I've shown in this video, where he's whipped a great ball in, and he's also slid one through for Costa, and it was a fantastic finish. His work rates at medium, medium, I quite like that myself. I think, you know, those are pretty good work rates, especially if you do want to play him at left mid. Now, if you do play him at left mid, don't expect much defensive work. While he is a little bit of a terrier, you know, he's got the pace to sort of get back and maybe throw the odd challenge in now and then. He's, it's not really going to be much more than that. His strength is very poor at 37. And, you know, obviously his tackling is, is pretty... Uh, pretty terrible but you know you're really buying him as a sort of attacking player and that's why I do suggest playing him at left wing or left forward because I think you're really going to get a lot out of him in that role now going back to his strength obviously 37 strength isn't that fantastic it's not that awe inspiring but he's got 94 balance and with his speed with his dribbling it's almost not that much of an issue you know I have put it as a, as a sort of con because obviously if he was a little bit stronger it'd be even better and you do find him getting pushed off the ball from time to time but by and large if you can sort of wriggle out of a challenge you know you should be able to hold on to the ball like I said because of his dribbling because of his ball control his pace and his balance it just means that he can ride the few challenges and get away and then obviously you can make use of you know, he's pretty decent finishing and, and uh, he's good range of passing if you do want to set up a teammate. So, all in all, a really, really great player that I just had a lot of fun with. And I think that's what, you know, if anyone who wants to go out and try him, that's what you'll get from him as well. You know, he's so easy to fit into teams. Obviously, he's got a great nationality being Italian, plays in a good league in Syria. So, you know, like I said, easy to get into your squads. Definitely recommend going out and building some Serie A squads because there are some really fantastic players that you can pick up for a lot less than the BPL and, and players like in La Liga and things like that. You can get some right bargains and Insigne being one of them. 30,000 on Xbox, 29 
on a PS4, so it's quite close between the two consoles. Uh, to be honest, I'm surprised that his price has fallen so much already. When he first came out of packs, it was around sort of 60k, and now he's dropped to around 30. I think it will probably stick around there because he is still quite a decent player. Uh, maybe when people do see the reviews on him and, and, and a bit of word of mouth gets around on him, his price might go up a little bit. So I definitely think it's worth investing in him now while he's so cheap because I don't really see it, see him going down too much at all, to be honest. I think if you get him for around 25k to 30k, I think you'd be getting a very, very good player for your money. So overall a player that i just really enjoyed using i thought he was absolutely fantastic so many pros are on it on this card and like i said his dribbling was amazing fantastic finishing you know while the card doesn't look incredible for finishing he did a really good job for me and scored a lot of really good goals his acceleration is incredible his sprint speed isn't as good but that initial burst of pace, which is exactly what you need, is fantastic. Especially, like I said, if you're playing him on the wing or, or higher up the pitch, you know, you're going to get a little bit of space just to get going, and that's all he needs. His long shots are really good. You know, it's quite hard to score long shots in this game, but he makes it look easy. His passing is good, so you're going to create a few uh, chances for your teammates with this guy. Balance, positioning and how cheap he is just make him a fantastic player, which is why I've given him 9 out of 10. Couple of cons on the card, obviously strength, heading and defending, but those aren't too uh, much to concern yourself with in all honesty. I do recommend, as I said, playing him at left wing or left forward, get him high up the pitch, get him in dangerous areas because this boy is fantastic, really worth using. I hope you enjoyed this review anyway, guys. Please hit like, subscribe, and peace.